Blood spatter evidence used to be a laborious task, but with FZ3, photographs of blood spatter can be imported, placed, and analyzed with the CSI tools. We will show you the process using a point cloud, but a model built with FZ3 drawing and power tools can also be used, provided the coordinates are precise. The crime scene investigator placed registration targets on the blood spattered wall, which will make placing the photo highly accurate. For ease of access, isolate the area with clipping boxes. Enclose the wall of interest with a clipping box and deactivate Hide Inside to mask everything outside the clipping box. Toggle the clipping box visibility off so the wall stands alone. Navigate to a clear view of the targets, then go to the Power Tools tab. Click the Blood Spatter command. Navigate to the photo of the blood spattered wall and click Open. Clearly, we have some adjustments to make. The image must be scaled and aligned. This can be done at the same time by selecting targets. Click Align to open the image in a window. Zoom in to the desired targets and click in the center of the target. Repeat for the other target. After the second click, the window will close. Repeat this selection on the corresponding wall, but this time we'll use the mag window instead of zooming. Click the target centers. After the second click, the image will auto-align and position. Use the arrow keys to nudge it forward a bit and adjust transparency on the tools panel to check the alignment. It looks like we didn't perfectly select target centers, so nudge the image in place. With the image in place, click the Edit Droplet command. In this window, the blood droplets will be drawn. Accuracy counts. Zoom in on the droplets and click the Draw Droplet command. Click the widest end of the droplet, then the farthest point. This establishes the length of the droplet. The next click establishes width. Use the grips to adjust for accuracy. Press the space bar to repeat the command and work another droplet. Define as many droplets as possible. The more droplets, the more accurate the analysis. Note that the analysis is running in the background. The blue spheres indicate points of convergence and the red sphere encompasses all the points of convergence. The red sphere is large due to some outliers, perhaps indicating that some of the droplets weren't quite as accurate as they could be. This is to be expected and can be compensated for in the tool panel. Adjust the Convergence Tolerance to exclude outliers. Under Settings on the Tool Panel, you can change the appearance of convergence spheres, show or hide them, or adjust tolerance here. A report can be generated from the Tools Panel detailing individual droplet positions. Blood Spatter Analysis is a time-saving tool for crime scene investigations. After viewing this video, you are now able to isolate a point cloud wall for analysis, import a blood spatter image and use the align command to position and scale the image, define blood droplets in the blood droplet editor window, and generate a blood spatter analysis report.